Okay, today we'll be opening up this mobile oil filter number M1-402 that I got from Amazon for $19.99. And we'll be comparing it to this K&N oil filter number HP-4002 that I got from a very generous viewer whose name is Peter from Connecticut. Thanks, Peter. Peter used to use this big bad boy K&N oil filter on his 1985 Ford F-250 pickup truck. Yep, the one with a 6.9 liter diesel engine. He has sold his truck, but pictured in this video is what they look like new. And these two filters I gotta duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is Okay, so let's start with the mobile and we'll start with the box. Look over here, it says 99.2% multi-pass efficiency. And that's at particles greater than 30 microns. Look over here, two times more capacity. Synthetic fiber blend filter element. Steel center tube. Premium lubricated filter gasket. It has no bypass valve. Yeah, this filter has no bypass valve. The engines that it goes on has their own bypass valve. All right, let's see what this filter looks like. Date code, 080811Y. That's a pretty old filter, I think. It's uh, probably 2011, product of USA. They must not sell these much. And this is a sticker on here. You got instructions. Now over here, see they got a website, mobileoil.com. Okay, and this filter has three, six, eight inlet holes. Big, big grooves here. This is a big hole, big outlet hole, grooves. Center core with lots of holes in it. Like I said, no bypass valve. And there is a piece of like rubber right here. You can feel it. So let's see what that is, because I don't see a I don't see any drain back valve. Well, it's a big filter though. This what this was hold about two quarts itself almost. Alright, let's take a look at this K and N filter. So the box, unfortunately it's got some writing all over it. So just take a look at it real quick. Metal leaf spring. Sturdy wrench nut, yeah, you can see the nut on top. And they got here, it says 1020 micron fiber. 90% efficiency. Okay, so let's take a look at this filter. You know, it's K&N, still got the plastic all over it. I didn't take it off. I'll take it off right now. So that's a nice thing, it comes all sealed in this plastic. And this is a sticker also. Let's look at the date code. So we got WO627, it could be a zero or an O, zero, I'll just say zero, zero, zero. So this one looks like it could be made in 2000, but I don't know. For sure, I can't read this date code. Maybe one of you guys know it, you can decipher it. But it does have this nice nut on top here. And instructions. I don't see a website, but made in USA. Okay. And this filter has three, six, eight inlet holes also. Metal core with, it's got a lot of holes in it also. Looks the same as the mobile. And I forgot to say how many grooves there was. I, I didn't, didn't count. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen. I'll put it up on the screen for both of them. That's a lot to count right now, so. And it's got the, it's like a beveled style gasket. Let's see what the mobile got. Yeah, also like a beveled style gasket. So I'll take those off and we can look at them later. Okay, so before I cut these filters open, I'm going to get the weights on them. Pretty heavy, so. Let's put it on a 
Let's put it on ounces. Or we got ounces, pounds. We'll put it on pounds. 1.71 pounds for the K&N. 1.65 pounds for the mobile. All right, let's take these two filters, open them up, and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, so here they are cut open. Let's check out the gaskets. I'll put the thickness up on the... They're both the same thickness. I'm going to put it up on the screen. And they, they actually both gaskets got the same markings on them. I would say they're the same exact gaskets. They're like a beveled gasket, so you can see. Flat here and beveled here. The cans. Let's look at the mobile. And there's a little bit of a little bit of like discoloration down there below, but it's not really rusted or anything. And the K and N is like a little bit of surface rust down here. But it's smooth. If you feel it, it's smooth. And I'll put the thickness of both of these cans up on the screen. They're almost the same thing. Thick, nice thick cans. Nice big cans too. Okay. Now let's go with the k &N. It's got a stamp leaf spring. Big stamp leaf spring. And the mobile has got coil spring, but it's glued on. See that? They glued it on. So I just left it there. All right, so let's start with the mobile anyways. We got, on the mobile, we got 70 pleats, a lot of pleats. There's a seam somewhere over here. It's pretty clean, metal end caps. There's a little bit of excess glue right here. Not too bad. Where's that seam? Well, it's, a, it's an inside seam. Anyways, this is a scent right here. Here it is. This is a synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% for particles greater than 30 microns. Nice deep pleats also. This is going to be a lot of filter media. It's probably going to go over my table. And they got a little string here tied to it also. Okay. And we'll look at the K&N. Yeah, K&N. Metal end caps. Nice and clean. A little... Excess glue here, but not bad. Little here. And right here is a seam, inside seam. And the KNN has eight less pleats, 62 pleats. And this is a synthetic blend media. And I couldn't find a micron rating on their website, but on the box it says 90% at 10 to 20 microns. So I'm going by that. Nice deep pleats. This filter media looks like it's thicker also. Yeah, a lot of pleats, a lot of filter media. You can see all those holes in there, the core. They both look the same. We'll see them afterwards when I cut these open. Okay, base plates. Well, they both got these little rubber things. This one's got a smaller rubber thing, the K&N. Just so it's not metal against metal when it goes against the end cap. And the uh, mobile's got this bigger rubber piece here for it's just like a a cushion spacer. I don't know what you'd call it, but I think it's just so the oil probably wouldn't go through. Sneak sneak by, you know. Put it like this. Yeah, we go like that, so. Okay, let's look at these guys. So they're a little bit different design. See the grooves? They almost got the same amount of grooves. I think the K&N's got one less groove. Let's see how they stick out. They stick out differently because this, this one sticks out this way. And the other one goes the other way. It's kind of like flipped over. But, boy, those are big, large inlet e exit holes and big inlet holes also. So that oil must really flow through these filters. 
Now let's get the width of these filters. The mobile is 4.55 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. And the K&N is 4.73 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, let's take these two filters, cut them open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out, and both filters go way over my table. The mobile oil filter is 114 inches long, and the K&N oil filter is 97 and a half inches long. A lot of filter media. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these filter medias. The mobile, 0.95 millimeters thick. The K&N, 1.16 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at them up close. It's the filtering side, back side. And if we take a look at these guys under a microscope, the mobile filter looks like it would do a little better job of filtering. There's a few light spots on this K&N oil filter. So let's take a look at that picture. So looking at the microscope picture, I would say the mobile would do a better, better job of filtering. You get about 50 square inches of more filter media also with the mobile filter. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so we got coil spring versus leaf spring. I prefer the coil spring. Gaskets, gaskets are a tie, both the same. Um, these little rubber pieces. I would probably give it to the mobile. Mobile looks like it's better if I can get this one out. Yeah, I'd give that to the mobile. And I guess the base plates, I would give them a tie. One thing I wanted to mention about the K&N filter, it was, it was all wrapped up in the plastic, but it still got a little bit of rust on it. You can see some rust in there and the threads also. So I don't know if that was trapped, gets trapped inside the, the filter bag and it's still rust probably, I don't know. The cans, I would give them a tie, except for the K&N. Got this little nut on here, so that would probably, I'd give that to the K&N. And the cores, they're both the same. Look at these holes, there's a lot of holes in here, smooth holes. They look, these cores look identical. So between the two, I think I'd take the mobile oil filter. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Peter for sending me this K&N oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The mobile filter mini weighs 65.2 grams. The K&N filter media weighs 66.2 grams.